there is nothing about um, three young men carjacking uh, a victim in the city of Albany that should come as a surprise to anyone. I think if you really uh, want to think through, there are moments that this all could have been averted. If you go back and just speak to the teachers, their teachers could have told you that this was going to happen at some point in time. What needs to happen between when these issues are first identified, there needs to be intervention that's done long before it gets to my door. We can have a lot of conversations about improving the criminal justice system, and those are conversations that are worthy. Um, but the idea that the problems for these young people began the day that they were apprehended for a crime is just absurd. I've talked about raising strong children much in the way that Frederick Douglass has articulated. You know, we, we should be raising strong children as opposed to emphasizing repairing broken men. The criminal justice system is in the business of repairing broken men. Much more emphasis needs to be added uh, to helping young children. And I don't see that emphasis being placed by any facet of government. Our number one priority as government is to, is to help and protect people. And the failure to make significant investments, be it state government, be it county government, being local government, the failure to make significant investments in the very locations where the most violence is coming from is to abandon that Frederick Douglass principle. You can't talk about school to prison pipelines without addressing the fact that there are school teachers out here that are paying out of their own pocket for school supplies. You can't tell me that you're concerned about the, the, the school to prison pipeline and yet you're not either supporting issues that, that help young kids in school or supporting teachers that are, that, are addressing with all, that are addressing all of these issues in school. And, and this raised the age law that requires prosecutors to, to prove extraordinary circumstances. We have failed in establishing extraordinary circumstances in over 90% of our cases. A young person in possession of a ghost gun with over 120 uh, bullets is not considered extraordinary in Albany County. But fixing these policies um, is not the only solution. We have to address the lack of significant investment in our youth, especially in our black youth. The reality of, the, of, this, of our uh, situation here is that um, a child's future in this town, in this community, uh, is also linked to their zip codes. That's not American. As a matter of fact, that's un-American. Those kids who are, in fact, making it out of their neighborhoods and going on to succeed in life, because those are the kids who have uh, strong homes. Um, they're held accountable by their parents. These are the young people who are guided, um, are in, they're involved you know, in stronger institutions. And so these kids are making it. What they have is, generally speaking, a strong home um, where they're held accountable. There are kids that are focused uh, in activities, whether it's Pop Warner football, whether it's the Boys and Girls Club. These are kids that are going from one environment where they're practicing um, uh, positive behavior, their positive reinforcements, to another environment. And what we need in Albany, more specifically what we need in certain pockets of our city in Albany, are more structured environments where um, we have strong adults pouring in and making and building our strong children.